All right, so I'm doing a little upgrade here. Um, my cigarette lighter down there um, wasn't working. So I figure instead of replacing it with a regular cigarette lighter, um, I'm going to put in one of these in here. I had this laying around, so I figure why not use this one. So this does have an on off switch right here. This little button right here, I turn it off and I turn it on. Um, this does have a backlight on there. So for those of you guys who want to run this to a live wire, a direct power, um, this is perfect because you can turn this off and turn it on um, and it won't let you drain your battery. So that's why this button is here to let you have control so, um, I should have recorded this when I was taking this out, but let me demonstrate how to take out one of these. So just in case your cigarette lighter outlet is not working, um, before, you, before you go ahead and take this out, make sure you check your fuse because your fuse might be the problem. But if you check your fuse and your fuse is good, then this is, this is um, probably you know the main reason why your outlet is not working because this is burned out this is bad or this is you know something is wrong with it anyway so you see these little tabs down there hold on let me get something to point and show you guys what I'm talking about all right so One second here. I'm trying to get my camera to. All right, I think that's better. All right, so you see this little black tab right here in this little square? This little black tab right here. This is what you want to push down. But there's another one on the opposite side up here. You can't really see because how I got the camera turned. But there's another one opposite from this one. And you want to press both of them at the same time. This one right here on the top that I told you you can't see. And this one right here that you can't see. You want to press this and this other one up here at the same time. Now it's kind of it's kind of tricky to do it. So what I did, I had to improvise. I took out this little clip right here. I took the metal chrome piece out. One side is off, as you can see. I took that out, and I put it. I put it in there, so both of them will depress at the same time. See that? Both of them is pressed at the same time. When you put this in, when you put a metal piece in, like I said, it's gonna press these down, these little tabs on the inside down. Then you can pull this metal metal piece out and then you can take off this little ring as well you don't have to take off this little ring but um, this metal piece right here will definitely come out after you depress those little those little plastic tabs on the inside um, so moving over here so this is the wires those green that green wire and the white wire um, is for the outlet as you guys can can see so um, I didn't have a test light so I just improvised and I got something from the house so this is a little ring right here and it does light up so I use it I'm using it as my test light so when I put it on here like so See that? You got the idea. It just flashes. All right. See that? The ring lit up. All right. So the ring light up. All right. So let me. Let me show you guys 
on this truck right here now all trucks the wires are different so on this truck right here the white wire is the ground wire and the green wire is the power wire and this is why I had this test light right here to test which is the um, which is the power and which is the ground so as you can see on this on this arm um, ring right here this green right this this black wire right here this is the ground wire and the and the red wire is the power wire is the live wire right and as you can see you see down here this white wire is on the bottom and as you can see right here this black wire is on the bottom and when I put this red wire in the top on the green I get power All right and earlier I tried it I put the the black wire on the white and the green the green wire on the red and I got power but when I switch them I didn't get any power because um, because it, because the wires are not matching up the way they're supposed to match up which is you know ground wire and ground and power and power so just in case somebody out there want to change one of these um, you know I just save you the trouble right there to probably short something now because if you you know put ground on power and power and ground you might damage something on your appliance or blow a fuse or something but yeah guys so um, I'm gonna put this little USB in here and um, it's gonna be looking nice I don't have my tripod so yeah I'm just telling you guys what I'm gonna do and show you guys the procedure but anybody out there who want to change these outlets as I told you just push look in there you see those those square tabs square tabs at the bottom push those tabs down and there's one on the opposite side as well push them down at the same time and then you pull you hold them down and then you pull this metal piece out and then you can take this outer ring, this plastic outer ring out if you want to. That's how you change those, these uh, cigarette lighter. Anyway, I'm gonna um, install this right here and this. I just matched it up and it looks like it will fit without me doing any trimming, but if I gotta do some trimming, I have my box cutter and I'm prepared to shave down the plastic around a little bit because I really don't care about it really much so I'm going to shave it down a little bit if I have to and this right here does have a nut on here so how it works is you put this you, you take off the nut you put the um, USB in and you have to go on the back side and tighten the nut down but what I'm planning on doing I'm planning on making sure this hole right here is so tight that I have to force this in here. I have to force this in there. So I won't have to put the um put this lock nut on the back because I ain't got time to be taking this off just to get on the back side of it to tighten this nut down. So this nut right here is gonna come off and I'm gonna put I'm gonna install this USB very tight so I won't have to use nothing to hold this USB inside of there and you know this is just the um, USB outlet so when I pull it out and push it in I won't you know really drag it out like that so it doesn't need that much you don't need this nut back here really as long as I, I install this USB in that hole very tight so I hope when I remove when I push these wires in it will go in super tight and from what I can see it looks like it's gonna make it super tight and I might have to do a little shaving but yeah that's the procedure let me pause this and install it and then I'll show you guys the after alright so I got the wire strip um, I'm doing it this way because 
I want to keep this little this little um piece right here. I want to keep it just in case, you know. So what I'm going to do is just connect the wires right here. And if you look, I didn't put I didn't break them right across from each other. You know, the power wires break here and about a about an inch down, I break it down here just in case you don't want to, you don't want the two of them touching each other and shorting, you know, popping the fuse or, you know, causing some problems. So it's a good idea to make a cut here and then an inch down or further down if you want to. Um, so these two right here don't touch each other. Okay, so I got this wire right here. That's going to go on the USB. I got it stripped down. And the same thing I did, I cut one of the wires shorter than the other. All right, so I got the wires wrapped on. Now I leave one of them exposed just to show you guys how I did it. All right, and now I'm going to put some electrical tape on the other one. That exposed. I'm just I just leaving it on there so I can show you guys before I wrap it up. Okay, so I got both of them wrapped up. And when you're wrapping these up, make sure you wrap them really tight. And I recommend you guys use, you know, something, some connector to do it. But I mean. I, I know what I'm doing and I've been doing this for a very long time and this is how a lot of people use to do it before they come up with connectors and stuff like that. You just have to make sure your wires are wrapped really tight so it can make a good connection and won't come loose and just use the, um, the electrical tape and just wrap around it and you'll be fine because um, these wires ain't getting pulled on or nothing like that. And how I cut them, I cut them like, I strip them like about an inch apart from each other so they won't short out. And they can't short out because I have the electrical tape on there. Alright, so now I'm going to put on the USB. I'm going to put on the USB. Okay. Um, let me put this camera down for a minute and put it on. All right, so I got this this USB outlet installed. I'm going to put some electrical tape on at least one of them. I'm just going to put electrical tape on both of them at the end. So this little um, insulation won't come off won't come off because like I said there's no there's nothing really behind there gonna be pulling on them but this is a truck and this truck does get a lot of vibration so I'm gonna put electrical tape at the end of it so so now let's test it out nice That's how it work, guys. Let me. I like it. I like it. Now, the thing is, I didn't test it out. I didn't find. I didn't. Um, let's put this in here and see. But first, let me put on some tape on the end of these. All right, so I put on some tape on the ends. Now I'm gonna slide it in the hole. And I hope it fits without me trimming it, but let's find out. Hmm. So 
a little bit tight, which is perfect. Because I get to trim it down a little bit. All right, it's perfect. So, what I'm gonna do now, I was just, I wanted to test it out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off these and take off this nut, because I don't need a nut. All right, so I took that nut off. Now, by looking at this, it looks like I'm gonna have to take this little piece off. See this little tab right here? Looks like I'm gonna take it off. Oh yeah, perfect fit. Perfect fit. Well, let me don't talk too soon. Let me put this cover over here so I can twist it in. But it looks like a perfect fit. I'm going to put the link in the description for this outlet here so you guys can buy the perf the right one because not all of them are made the same way. Not all of them. Looks like I'm gonna need to trim it a little bit, guys. And that's okay. Oh, I wasn't even, camera wasn't even on there. Okay, let me show you guys just in case you didn't see it. So it's kind of hard to go in. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim it a little bit. Just need a little shaving around. Now, I don't want to do it too much because I want a tight. I want it tight in there because I'm not using no nut behind there. So this have to be tight. a little bit too tight. I was hoping I was hoping um, it'll be tight because I knew I wasn't going to use no nut on here. again look like it's still too tight guys or maybe I'm being too gentle with it Good enough. Just gotta work it in. Perfect. Oh yeah. Perfect guys. 
this little cap right here is gonna is gonna be annoying. I should just take it off. Oh yeah. Nice. I'm gonna plug my phone in and try and try it. It looks a little bit crooked, doesn't it? Uh, whatever. I'm gonna leave it. It's not that bad. I'm gonna plug my phone in and, tr and try it out. Alright, guys. So, yep. It's working. I have my phone plugged in. I have my my fire plugged in. As you can see, it's charging. Well, my fire is, is, is already fully charged, but yeah anyway guys like i said i'm gonna put the link for this outlet this usb outlet um in the description just in case you guys want to get one of these because not all of these outlets are cut the same size so this size right here is perfect because you just got to trim it down a little bit and you want to put it in so you won't have to use any any nut on the back side of it because you know it's a pain to take off all of these panels and stuff like that so a tight fit is the way to go so you won't have to use any any nut on the back of it to hold the usb in place anyway guys if you haven't already please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you on the next video bye bye